How's it, guys? I just want to say thank you so much for all the support we've had through the years and in the selection campaign. And as we enter into this final stretch, I just want to bring some clarity to a few misperceptions that we've seen on social media. People are concerned that if they vote for the Cape Independence Party, the ANC or the EFF might get in. This is an absolute impossibility. The ANC and the EFF together in the 2019 elections, the ANC got 28, the EFF got 4%. Together, they got 32%. The other 68% of you voters voted for the DA or the Cape Independence Party or the ACDP or the Freedom Front. That 68% is never going to flip to the ANC or the EFF. In the 2016 elections, the ANC got 24%. The EFF got 3%. Together, they had 27%. They've got no chance of getting in in the city of Cape Town or the Western Capes. We can rest easy. So when the DA sends you pamphlets like they've sent me, and I'm sure giving you phone calls and SMSs saying, you have to vote DA to keep the ANC or EFF out, this is a lie. There is no chance that the ANC or EFF are gonna get in. So what we can do on Monday, the 1st of November, is we can hold the DA to account. If we can get the DA to underneath 50%, we have a coalition government system. It's actually a very good political system. If the DA is on 45%, and the Cape Independence Party is on 10%, and the ACDP is on 10%, and the Freedom Front is on 10%. Together, all of us, all we need is to get over the 50% mark. So with the DA at 45%, the Cape Independence Party with 5 or 6%, together in a coalition, we will hold the majority and the ANC and EFF will never get in. But the DA will then have to listen to parties like ourselves to shift their policies away from being ANC light. And that's many people call the DA ANC light. So if you vote for the Cape Independence Party and we go into a coalition with the DA, we will force them to drop their horrific ANC light policies and adopt policies that are better for you and me and the people of the Cape. Thank you so much for your support and we will fight for your best interest on Monday, 1st November and from here on out until we achieve our vision of an independent Cape. Thank you so much.